So before we get started, can I just ask, this is an infomercial, isn't it? No, this is not an infomercial. Well, you say that, but you're giving out prices about a price well, reduction. That may be the case, but I think it's my duty to pass on this information. And a sentence that I never, ever thought I'd hear myself say. This is a bargain from PXG. Yeah, honestly, it's true. It's a bargain and it's from PXG. I know, just sit tight, just sit tight. I will get there in a minute, but you're gonna to have to bear with me a little bit. In this video, I'm gonna do a couple of things. I am gonna tell you about the PXG bargain, but I'm also gonna tell you about my intention of how we might get to help PG professionals through this period whilst they're struggling. And I'm gonna see if we can do something on this channel to help out a little bit. There are a few clubs at the moment from PXG that you can get at a reduced price. I'm gonna, I'll tell you about all those clubs a little bit later on, but in terms of a PXG bargain, I think it is one particular, it's a set of irons, and it's the 0211 irons. They were already at the lower end of the price scale for PXG. Many of you who watch the channel know that I put them in the bag. I was a massive fan of the irons until recently I moved over to the PXG Gen 3s. Yeah, I know, I know what you're all thinking. This is a PXG infomercial from the average golfer. Let, before we go any further, let me say one thing. If there are anybody out there, any manufacturers who wanna reduce their prices and give me the heads up that I can pass them on to our viewers, I will gladly do it. So this is by no means a bias towards anyone, any manufacturer. In fact, if you're watching, if manufacturers are watching out there, we've got a real situation going on at the moment. So why not contact the average golfer and tell me how you want to make some reductions in your pricing structure to help out some average golfers out there and something we can pass on and uh, do a little bit in terms of price reduction on golf products right now, seeing as everybody's in a bit of a struggle. Anyway, let's get back to the story. A few days ago, I reviewed, I did a head-to-head -head video of the PXG 0211 iron versus the new Gen 3 iron. That video will be out this week and keep an eye on it because it's very, very uh, interesting to say the least. I've got both sets of clubs in hand, put them both to the test, and like I said, there's a full in-depth review. Without giving any spoilers away, what I'll say is this. The 0211 performed extremely well. And for me, it was one of the best irons of 2019. In fact, the only reason it lost out on top spot when I did my top five irons of 2019 was down to price. And that's just changed. So what is it I think that is so good about these uh, irons then? Well, first of all, I think they look fantastic. I love the uh, sort of matte, muted satin finish, I suppose you call it. PXG branding, bold enough, we all recognise that right now. Uh, but to me, it's these kind of chamfered edges pretty much all around. That's a gap wedge there. You'll see right the way around that top line and pretty much around the whole sole unit. But more importantly, from the top line itself, when you sit these clubs at a dress, this chamfered edge uh, sort of deceives the eye in terms of it's a lot thinner that it perhaps is. And on top of that, I mean, the club, I think looks good, but sounds superb. And the bit that always baffled me is how they got these clubs, which is a um, cast club to feel so good. The next thing I want to talk about is the top four. I had five irons, but let's talk about the top four. And uh, basically I put uh, the P790 in fourth place. I put, let me see how this worked out. It was the PXG that was in third place and it was in third place based on its price being so much more expensive than the others. Uh, we had the MP20 HMB in second, and at top of the pile, we had the uh, Callaway Apex. And again, there was very little to split those four clubs. For me, if you take a look at them here, they're, they're all superb looking clubs. I think um, they tick every box in terms of what I would class as the modern day iron, whereby there's plenty of help, forgiveness, um, in a profile that's small enough to be easy on the eye. And I think, like I said, they all do that. And to split them, it was very, very difficult to do that indeed. But one of the major things was the price. And if you look at the prices that they are today, so I've just gone online and searched these prices on, these are UK. I wanna give you the prices uh, in, uh, of a, there's American offer as well, but let me just talk about the price in the UK at the moment. So online retailers, P790, 
9.99 for seven irons. The Apex is 104.9 for seven irons and the MP20 HMB is a massive 12.50 uh, for seven irons. So the big thing is, how much can you now get 0211 irons from PXG for? I think this is really interesting, you know, because they, I'll take it right. So the price is 126 a club in the UK. I don't know the dollar price, but I know there's a price again available in the US. And what I'm going to put is again, I'm going to put some contact details that you can, uh, there's phone lines and email addresses that you can contact to access these prices. The other thing to mention at this point is uh, Arizona in America is still open. There's no lockdown as I understand it as I made this video. So manufacturing is still going on and products are still getting out to customers. So you can still order and access these products. But the real message is this, look, we've got to be careful because like I said, what we don't want to do is put adverts on for manufacturers uh, to sell product. But the big deal for me is the fact that this is a huge change. These were, and still in some places, 200 pound per club. And to come in at 126, that's a massive difference. And if I was doing the review today of 2019 clubs, that, that same top five that I did, then the 211 would have been at the top of the pile because for everything that it offers in terms of performance, to couple it with that price, then it's a real winning product. And I wanna tell my audience about that. That's, I think, a fair thing to do. And like I said, there's no bias here because if Mizuno, Callaway, or TaylorMade wanna give me a call and say, do you know what, Anne, we're gonna reduce all our prices too, we're gonna to make some additional efforts, I'll do exactly the same video for each one of them. For all the idiots out there that are gonna comment on it, let's just make one thing clear. I make nothing out of this video whatsoever in terms of this is not a paid advert whatsoever. So let's just clear that up before the comments start arriving. This is purely me relaying information to my viewers. So like I said, no idiot comments, please. And respect the kind of information that I give across to my audience. The final thing is this. Um, I just wanna say that I mentioned earlier on in the video in terms of helping out PGA professionals. And I don't think this is something, maybe it can be done in the US, I don't know, but certainly in terms of the UK audience, uh, I'm gonna be putting out some um, posts on social media, asking PGA professionals that are on lockdown, that currently can't open the shop, that don't have maybe uh, an online facility to sell their products, to get in touch and tell me what they're looking to move on, what they're looking to sell, if they've got some particular, uh, great offers on right now that they can perhaps get to you and you can support them in that way. So the idea being that I'll put out the messages, by all means share this information with anyone you know in terms of a PGA professional because they've got it tough right now, they just come out of a real tough winter and for it to hit them right now when all the uh, seasonal stock deliveries have just arrived then it must be really difficult. So the idea I thought of in, in, in a way that can perhaps help is that I'll do one video per week which highlights a number of, maybe there'll, there'll be a sort of um, a top 10 in terms of the bargains or whatever there is, and I'll give the details out maybe in the comment section or some links or whatever. I'll work out a way of doing that, but I just thought it was some way that perhaps um, if you are looking to buy a new product, then perhaps we can sort uh, look to help PGA professionals. And like I said, whether I can do that uh, across all uh, Europe and, and Americas and, and whatever else, I don't know, but certainly in terms of UK, then I'll, uh, I don't know, it may be a bad idea. Maybe there's too many um, obstacles in the way to do that, I don't know, but we'll make an effort to try and help out if we can. Anyway, as ever, thanks for watching. Like I said, a real interesting one there, a real change, nothing nothing reviewed. Like there is a big review coming next week if you wanna hang fire and look at the 211 versus the Gen 3s. I have got plenty of interesting videos on the way that I filmed with the Mevo Plus last week. I've had a little bit of a few days off in terms of, uh, I did a lot of, um, attaining um, data when I had the Mevo, because I only had it for a short period of time, which meant I didn't get to put any videos out. But there's plenty on the way. Right, everyone keep safe, keep doing what we're supposed to be doing, and um, hopefully we'll be back out on those golf courses uh, just as soon as it's, uh, it's, it's safe to do so. Right, I'm off, see you later.